boys and girls, it's Miss Beth and Ella. Good morning, Ella. Are you here to listen to the great story that I'm going to be reading the kids? Oh, you're going to love this one too. This is a good one. This is called Grace and Box and is written by Kim Howard, illustrated by Megan Luter, and the publisher is Firewall and Friends, New York. This is a great story, I love it, because my kids used to love, love, love when we'd get boxes for them to play with. All right, Grace and Box. The day the new refrigerator came, Grace got Box. On Monday, Fox was a rocket. On Tuesday, Fox was a home. On Wednesday, Box was a tent for camping and also some ruins in Rome. On Thursday, Box was a submarine. On Friday, Box was Hong Kong. On Saturday, Box was a deep, dark tunnel. But on Sunday, something was wrong. In one corner, Box was sagging, and on one of his walls had a rip. One flap on Box was bent and crumpled. Box was a sinking ship. Grace gave him a checkup. His heartbeat seemed okay. She let him rest on the couch and read him stories all day. Next, she tried a bandage and then some veggie soup. But no matter what she did, Fox continued to droop. Then Grace had an idea. If Fox was a sinking boat, maybe she was a peg leg pirate trying to keep him afloat. Ahoy, matey. Let's try some tape. Grace fixed the rip in his wall, got some cardboard for reinforcement. She patched crumples big and small. But Box looked different now, but that didn't matter to Grace. By Monday, he was back to work as another magical place. So Box was a fort, then a castle, which Grace worked hard defending.
and every few days a new rip would need a little mending. They played the days away with lots of color and laughter. Because best friends, Grace and Box, had big dreams to chase after. And that is the end of Grace and Box. Oh, I love that one. You know I always love the ones I read to you, but I love that one especially because she was using her imagination and playing and getting some great exercise out using her brain. And I love that. They went to so many different places and did so many fun things together. I love old boxes and I love, love imagination when you put it to good use. I am Miss Beth, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day, and I cannot wait to see you next time.